rhythm change in this match. Five of hearts. That card's not going to help Chris get paid off. He'll fire 16,000 at the pot to see if he gets a bite. And Jonathan not willing to oblige, he folds his hand. Third straight pot over to Chris Ferguson. So Chris adds to his chip lead. Two straight runner-up finishes for Ferguson. He went out in the first round last year. Jonathan Little playing in heads up for the first time. And Jonathan's been in this spot before. There's been some Very pendulum nice. swings in his preliminary matches. He has come back to finish off his opponents. And again, pocket nines for Chris. But that's a tough feat to accomplish if you keep running into big hands. Ferguson puts in a raise to 15,000. Suited 10-7 for Jonathan. I'm all in. Oh, and he's moving all in. Boy, I feel like the wheels have come off a little bit here for Jonathan Little. I call. You got me again. Chris calls. And we'll take a look at the cards now. Jonathan and Chris Little, is about a seven, two to one diamonds. favorite here. Once again, Chris Ferguson with two nines. Nine of hearts, nine of hearts. Feels like the wheels just came off the little bus. Here's the flop. Exercise in futility, shoving it all in with 10 high. Deuce, three, no diamonds jack, on the flop. Trey hearts, Jack no Deuce. Two nines are still good. Chris has the only heart. Little wants to hit two runners to a Here's straight, a 10, or a 7 with some help. It's the five, five of hearts, hearts, nice card for Chris. And now Jonathan needs to peel off now. a black 10, or it's off to the Kino room. Jonathan needs a 10, and it can't be the 10 of Little hearts. needs a two-outer to nice avoid completing the self-destruction. The river, and four of clubs. Chris and Chris Ferguson has come back to defeat Jonathan Little. He once again advances into the final four. The all-time winningest player in Heads Up history. Now 14 and three for his career in this event. And young Jonathan Little will gain the necessary composure with more experience. We turn our attention back to the featured table now where Phil Ivey continues to lead Gus Hansen. Just under a two to one chip advantage, blinds at three and six thousand. Yeah, these two would be trading places if Gus could manage a double up. Suited nine four for Gus, he has called. Five tray for Phil. Gus on the button. Still checks. Still checks. We'll see and you Ivy checks. <sighs> Flop is king four, four eight, eight bottom pair for Gus. Yeah, big air ball for Phil Ivey. Phil checks. That's, that's Phil checks. Gus, Gus bets 6,000, and Phil quickly folds his hand. <clears throat> so a small pot for Gus Hansen as we send it to Leanne, who's with a victorious Chris Ferguson. Well, congratulations, Chris. You're moving on to the semis. Now, I got to ask you, in 2000, you won the main event getting a nine on the river. Today, it seemed like nines were your lucky number. Well, they are. I won two big pots with nines mm -hmm. in, in that match. Yeah, um, I love nines. What's your key to heads up play? You're so successful in this tournament. Well, I, I think it's a lot of hard work. Uh, you know, for me, it was it was actually playing on the internet is one of the things that really, uh, really honed my game. I can play 300 hands an hour. Wow. Whereas in uh, in a card room, you're going to play maybe, you know, heads up, maybe 50 or 60, but I'm playing 300, so I'm learning a lot faster. Right. You know, and so I think really that was that was really the key. All right, well, congratulations. You'll be moving on. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Chris Ferguson makes it to the Final Four for the third time in four years at the Heads Up Championship. One seat remains. Welcome back to the National Heads Up Poker Championship on NBC. Well, Chris Ferguson proved once again how good of a heads up player he is. He won his 14th match in four years as he defeated Jonathan Fiery Justice Little. Let's go back out to the featured table. Leanne, thanks. And Chris Ferguson is awaiting a winner at our featured table. And no matter who Chris faces, it's going to make for a great Final Four matchup. Suited 9 5 for Gus Hansen. Awesome. Gus calls. Hey, why not? 9-4 suited worked a minute ago. 10-deuce filled checks. And a big flop for Phil Ivey. A pair of 10s and a flush draw. 
speed. Well, the flush draw is not what's going to make him as comfortable as flopping top pair. Bottom pair for Gus Hansen, no spade in his hand. Phil bets 6,000, and Gus puts in a raise, another 6 to 12,000. This is an exploratory raise, min raise, right after a min bet. And Phil's going to put Gus all in. Well, there's Gus's test results. They just came back positive. A lot easier to dump those fives. Now that he's faced with an Ivy all in, but apparently he's going to take his time to do so, I can't imagine Gus calling. No, Gus ends up dumping the fives after all. He folds, and Phil takes down the pot to extend his lead. Phil folds, Phil takes the pot. That was a situation where Phil didn't want to lay back and let Gus have control of the pot. Fired out that min bed and earned himself an extra 12,000 in doing so. And Gus potentially saved himself from having to call a bet on the turn by putting in the min raise when he did right there on the flop. Fair enough. God. You're so cocky, I just can't stand it. <laughs> Suited king queen for Phil here. You get the feeling their friendship is of the love hate variety, don't you? Ten tray for Gus, and Gus checks. And the flop. Oh, and Phil could get even cockier here. He's flopped another heart flush. Bottom pair and a ten high flush draw for Gus. Could be trouble. Gus bet six thousand. Raises. Phil raises to 18,000. Triples Gus's bet. Gus is a prohibitive underdog to win this hand. I got 72 more. Oh, but he's moving all in. Gus moves all in. Call. Yeah, and you can kind of see it on Gus's face. He was frustrated. I'm dead. He's going to need to fill up to win this pot and stay alive. King, queen of hearts. I, I flopped two flushes. I, I held the deck. I was praying it wasn't the ten of hearts, but... What? What do you mean? Well, it's just going to fold. I'm going to fold. I mean... And also, I back fold. You raised me 18 times. I mean, Here's the turn. What did you have on the 7-5-4 board? 10-7. Turns in eight of clubs, eight of and four? Phil Ivey has five. defeated <laughs> Gus Hansen. 10-7. Hit the seven on the three sevens on the turn. What you have? Pair. Pair and straight draw. Phil's best run ever here at Heads Up continues. Well, Ivy's victory sets up a clash with Chris Ferguson in the final four. Ferguson defeated Jonathan Little to improve his impressive Heads Up record. And Ivy again knocking out Gus Hansen. Gus and Phil are standing by with Leanne. Well, Gus, can you tell us about that last hand? Oh, uh, well, basically, it's a, it's a limp pot. I have 10-3 offsuit, a, not a very good hand, but I do flop a pair and a flush draw. Uh, it's not that, not that easy to beat. I mean, if he has a bigger flush draw, my pair is probably good. If he has a bigger pair, my flush draw is probably good. So, um, but facing Phil Ivey, I should have known he flopped a big <laughs> flush. So, I mean, uh, I should have just folded. But, I mean, I, I couldn't. Like I said, he puts a lot of pressure on. And, uh, right. Uh, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. All right, Phil, you've won four in a row now. You're going on to play Chris Ferguson. How do you beat him? Um, well, I don't know. I'm just going to try to get in there and um, make some things happen. I know he's done really well in this event. Um, they announced that he had the best record ever, so um, I'm going to try to uh, figure out a way to uh, get the job done. All right, you got it. Moving on to the semis. Congratulations, Phil. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all in. All right, call. You got me, I'm sure. Let's take another one, Gus. Wow. I call. You got me again. A big hand there. That was my best hand in the tournament. Gus, 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 Gus. I like that loss. You're so cocky, I just can't stand it. I'm dead. You're good. We've reached the final four. Andy Block and Huck Seed, Phil Ivey and Chris Ferguson. For Ali Najat and Leanne Tweeden, this is.